it's Denisha and welcome back to another painting video and as you can see from the preview I wanted to do a painting from my own reference this time and since it's summer now and I'm in Seattle there's a lot of pretty hike you can go and do and I wanted to paint a hike with Mount Rainier in it and I got those new gouache paints that I wanted to try and I've made a painting before that and it wasn't the best painting, so I want to give it a try and try to paint a scene from it. So the view that I ended up choosing was this one with a little meadow with Mount Rainier in the background. I just love the trees everywhere and then having a little bit of water and then the beautiful Mount Rainier in the background. So I wanted to put that in my sketchbook and this time I wanted to try simplifying my painting because I know that I do add a lot of detail sometimes and with this gouache color it's not the same as Himi gouache. Um, I try to mix colors on top of each other. I found it a little bit difficult so I think this color is more so you mix your colors that you need and then you fill it out flat. So better for illustrating and doing simple designs. So I tried doing my landscape painting more simplified using those colors and yeah, let's see how it turns out. And already you can probably see the streaks that it's leaving when I'm painting the sky and it's probably because I added more water to color ratio so I'm probably gonna go back and add a second layer to get more of the finished look so yeah this just shows you how I have to be working in a specific way with these colors since especially I'm still trying to figure out how the consistency should be with those colors and yeah it happens to me too there's a medium that I don't know how to use and if you guys know how to work this medium please let me know down below because I get a little bit <laughs> confused how I'm supposed to use these colors but yeah other than that I still try having fun while painting And like I said, I wanted to simplify my painting and just use the color that I already mixed beforehand. But it was really difficult to not add more colors as I painted because I don't know, I've just been used using the Himi gouache set and just build up a bunch of layers. If you watch my previous videos, you know that I love doing layers and just keep adding colors on top. So yeah, there was a little bit of unlearning that had to be done as I painted with those colors, but I think in the end it looked decent. Not my favorite, but it was okay. <laughs> it's okay. This is what I call the ugly stage of a painting. <laughs> I really started to hate the painting at this time because I wanted to do the color of the water different than that of the sky. Just a little bit of difference in like the hues and tones but I don't know I started hating on a little bit so you'll see me start adding layers. I yeah I, <laughs> I could not just keep myself to just one. I tried to over correct it but yeah let's see if I can save this.
think shadows on the different mountains have been my favorite so far and right now I was basically trying to create like a color palette to limit the amount of colors that I put in a painting and just have a couple of colors that blend with each other but yeah there's still a lot of work <laughs> to be done there and I've been really inspired by Lee um, a youtuber artist that I watch and I just love her color choices and I've been wanting to try to figure out how to create my own color palette so yeah it's still a work in progress right now but practice makes perfect right? <laughs> Okay, so I haven't done this in a while, but I'm gonna put this fast forward and have it more look like a speed paint so you can see the hand movement that I'm doing, but then I don't have to cut different pieces out, just it's quicker this time. But yeah, I didn't really know what I was doing with the grass at that point, so I went back to filling the sky, which actually look very polished, so two layers or maybe less water works great with the color but as for the grass I was kind of confused and yeah I just kept correcting it and in the end I just gave up a little bit and I started adding the darker trees that went around the painting and actually that gave me some hope when I started doing that. like the trees added more of a perspective and help guide your eyes for the painting it's not perfect but it did help with the final painting so yeah I was pretty happy of how it turned out not my best painting but it's a sketchbook not every painting have to be perfect to be honest we all have days where we hate our paintings and then we do the next one and then it'll work out I just try not to be too hard on myself I'm just remembering myself that I'm here to paint and have fun so this one didn't work out so yeah I guess I'll try next time again just like I tried painting with this colors the first time didn't like it I'm trying again this time it's a little bit better so maybe next time I will love what I do so yeah I guess I just wanted to share that not all my paintings are perfect and it's okay so yeah I hope that you guys enjoy this little time lapse
Alright, I hope that you guys enjoy watching me paint or painting along with me. Let me know what you thought about the video down below and I will see you in the next one. Allez, bye!